Ensuring all staff across the health and social care workforce have the right knowledge and skills in dementia care is a key priority for the UK government. The Centre for Dementia Research at Leeds Beckett University in England conducted the What Works Research Study, focusing on what effective education and training looks like. Nick Thatcher went to Leeds to find out how this is being implemented. I'm just going to talk to you a bit about the more common forms of dementia. These students at Leeds Beckett University are training to become physiotherapists. But along with all health and social care staff, they're now required to learn how to treat and care for people living with dementia. The skills and knowledge they'll need are set out in a framework of national guidelines. And here at the university, the Centre for Dementia Research has also looked closely at what works best for delivering the most effective education and training. There are a number of key areas that people need to consider when developing or delivering training programmes. Face-to-face -face delivery was really important and making sure there's opportunity for discussion and interaction, tailoring it to staff and their particular setting and the role that they work in. So an experienced facilitator who can hold the session and then finally the length of the training programme and the session, so at least three and a half hours with individual sessions that are at least two hours. The Leeds Beckett University Centre for Dementia Research aims to facilitate a cross-disciplinary research community to support the conduct of applied dementia research. The What Work study reviewed all published literature on the subject of dementia education and training, audited what was already being offered and looked at case studies in best practice. One of the things we did find was that whilst generic education and training was being delivered, for example, in domains of awareness and person-centred care and communication, some of the gaps were delivering specific training for specific types of healthcare professionals. So we work with people across a variety of courses to make sure that they're aware of the different types of dementia and how to interact and communicate with people living with dementia when they're delivering care at the front line. Another key finding from the What Work study was the need to include the voice of people living with dementia in training and education. Maria Walsh was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease in 2011 and together with her daughter Nadia has experience of accessing health services both for her dementia and for treatment for cancer. They told me why dementia training for all staff is so important. Because they talk, they talk in... Um jargon they use a lot of jargon so things need to be made simple and mm. um yeah, well we've been on basic. the end of both extremes really because we have mm. been to places where they've talked to my mum like she's a baby and that's frustrating for me yeah, that was and the for first you group yeah they sent me to. so it's like there's no in between and in your groups have a look and, and see what you think is person-centred and what you think isn't. At the Bradford Royal Infirmary, another dementia training session for staff is underway. The What Work study was commissioned by Health Education England and includes an audit tool to support best practice. This audit tool takes the criteria from the study and gives an evidence base tool against which those delivering education and training or, or commissioning or, or designing the programmes can um, ensure that they are covering that, that minimum criteria. And we're using that as our standard quality assurance for any materials that we put up on our Health Education England website. I come across issues all the time. So training is essential across the board, not just for the doctors and nurses, but all the staff that are involved in patient care. So the more engaging the training, the more involved the participants are in that training, the more likely you are to see differences when they go back to their place of work. Back in the classroom, this exercise invites the students to appreciate the challenges of understanding someone who can only communicate with limited information. Don't use shape words, but you can use things that might describe the shape. Face-to-face -face interactive training like this is changing the way health and social care staff think about dementia. And the What Works study findings are helping to ensure the necessary standards and competences are met for delivering high-quality patient care.